everyone, thank you for tuning in to A Graders. Here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced science curriculum writer, Ms. Jodi, who will share with us what the Primary 4 student will be learning for science in September. So Jodi, what are they learning this month? Okay, so for P4, most schools will be completing the topic on light energy. So in the previous video, we actually mentioned the four important properties of light. So for this video, we will be going in depth to some of the properties of light. So as students by, must know by now that light can be blocked and these form shadows. So they have to know the conditions for shadows to form. So let's look at this picture and based on the picture, okay, the shadows, the conditions for shadows to form will be presence of light source, in this case it's a torch light, presence of an object to block the light, in this case the ball, the presence of a surface or a screen that the light can fall on, in this case is the screen. And secondly, they must memorize the different types of shadows that can be formed by different types of objects as shown in, a, in this table here. Okay, thirdly, students must also know that an object can cast shadows of different shapes and sizes depending on position of object and position of light source. So we can actually look at the table here for the concepts. Okay, lastly, students have to know that when different parts of the same object block the path of light, shadows of different shapes will also be formed. And the same object can actually cast shadows of different shapes. Okay, so do you have any commonly tested questions to share with us? Okay, a uh, common question type of such topics actually includes or uh, requires knowledge recall of property of lights and in terms of shadows. So let's look at this commonly tested question here. Okay, so for part A, right, in order to answer such questions, students have to first identify the properties of glass and apply it to the scenario in the question. So since glass allows most light to pass through, it will not affect the, sh the shadow as shadows occur due to light being blocked. Thus, shadow will remain unchanged. And for part B, as we are told to predict, we actually have to state what we can observe or see. So by applying the concept, that when a light source moves nearer to an object, the object will actually block out a bigger, a bigger area of light. So in this case, the card will be blocking out more light from the light bulb, causing the shadow form to be bigger. Now let's look at part C. As long as students understood the concept for part B, right, this question is actually just the opposite of the concept, whereby if we wanted the shadow to be smaller, it actually means lesser light is being blocked. And in order for lesser light to be blocked, objects must be further away from the light source. Thus, she can actually either move object nearer to the screen or move the object away from the torch. So as long as students could remember and relate concepts on light in relation to shadows, they would be able to handle such questions. Okay, so we have actually prepared a useful cheat sheet for you to download, so click on the link below to download them. Thank you very Thank much. You. To watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free. As well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A Grader Learning Centre.